Set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. I know it sounds silly given you. Someone has barricaded the path. All full up. Can't carry any more. May Waiter's desire for power be sated by the time we follow him to the afterlife. Looks like the bridge is out. This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems.
Omar, uh -huh. they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, Hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off. Who are you? you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. I know it sounds someone to replace you. Oh, what? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the Condor, but we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things, thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets, but the eagle took that away as well. I don't have enough space for that.
This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Ukupasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site, where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. What is that? Uh, oh my uh, god. Please, help me. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. That doesn't sound good. All full up. Can't carry any more. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. If you ask me, it's that brother business. Always unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. Shit generator, why is this always breaking? Anymore? Back to work or he dies! We refuse to let you threaten us! Is he bluffing? You're just a lousy bunch of thieves! I made it! I'll kill him! You finally pushed us too far! Back off! Release him or else! That's it! No more fucking around! Stand down! Oh. Take your hands off me! All right. Need to get back to the village. Gather your things and go back to the village. Thank you. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases.
Did you see him? Father? Yeah, he was running toward Abyss. Good, I hope he's in pain. All full up. Can't carry any more. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. Rugby, there's a real sport. No way. I'm gonna change your mind about that. I'd like to see you try. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. His pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. <laughs> How are things? Check out what I have. Excellent choice.
Enjoy. Excellent choice. I'm always ready to do business. I can hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I have noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. Trinity is really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Dragon, this must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. People used to make miniature pieces of clothing with highly intricate designs solely for the purpose of burning them in dedication to her. That would account for the scorch marks on the floor. And those brown stains must be llama blood. Another popular sacrifice. <laughs> oh, I can't figure out what this means. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Poor Veneer on the base of it.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. must be seeping through. When the caverns begin to howl, a warrior must descend to ease the torment. If one cannot be sacrificed, then all will die.
The elders of the village have lied to us. There is no beast underground. The howling we hear is only the wind rushing out through small caves leading to the surface. They've used fear to control us for too long. Once I make my way out of this infernal sweat bath, I will throw their lies at their feet. Botan is an ancient Maya god of war and death. So old, he is rumored to have been old even before the beginning of time itself. He is usually depicted as having no teeth and being colored entirely black. Little is known about him, except that he likes to smoke pungent cigars. Interestingly, he is also the god who invented drumming. Ugh! <sighs> 
now to get that other pendulum moving. to get out of here. Full up. Can't carry any more.
all full up. Can't carry any more. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Turn a look. Eshel and Shakshal, the twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. the temple. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. From life to death, full moon to new, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box.
Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. He wants us to search underwater? He wants to search everywhere. Okay. So, are we getting scuba equipment or something? Better. A bunch of underwater drones. Commander, we'll get you back on track. Command, this is Dock Station. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Drones have been launched. They're five miles downriver. Signal is strong. I'll let you know if they find anything. Out. Full up. Can't carry any more. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. 